We are doing a golden eyeshadow makeup look. Gold, bam, gold. so much for coming back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber i appreciate you so much if you've never seen my face before i want to clap for you <laughs> thank you so much for clicking on this video in case you're wondering why my um eye is so red i actually got it's a funny story it's not funny it's not so funny yeah i got some chlorine in my eye don't ask me how but i did get some chlorine in my eye and it was the worst feeling ever like i ignored it it wasn't um i didn't think i'd gotten it into my eye but i suspected that i had gotten it into my eye because i rubbed my eye and then i just touched chlorine um it was a stinging sensation and i ignored it and then the next morning <laughs> i found this eye swollen like right now it's normal <laughs> this was on monday yeah um, i normally film on weekends so this is saturday my eye was swollen like big like this it was even closed it was like so you can imagine and it was so red like ridiculously red worse than if you've been stung by a bee like it was red so anytime i tried to open it it was super red but luckily it cleared and it's getting better yeah it's getting better by the day so that's the reason one i broad definition team broad definition team <laughs> yeah so i'm just defining my bros brows if you call them that brows or bros what do you normally call them bros or brows i don't know who knows you can comment down below if you can write those pronunciation things that they, they normally write in the dictionary oh my god this is dirty I don't know why it's dirty. Oh, it's the wrong one. Hmm. So I'm just gonna look for the correct one. Sorry, guys. It's hard. It's 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 hard. Yeah. Oh, okay. Found it. Sorry, guys, about that. This is the correct one, and this is in the shape fawn. I've just realized that I actually did a voiceover and it disappeared. Ooh. Sometimes you just feel like, oh. Anyway, basically, what I'm doing is that I am defining my brows and I'm using a concealer that's a few shades lighter than my skin tone. So I've just applied it above and below my eyebrows. That's what we call defining brows. And I'm now taking a brush and I'm just using it to blend it all out into the skin, into the surrounding area. Next, I'm just using this LA Girl uh, High Definition Eyeshadow Primer. It's in this shade white. One downside to this primer is that it dries really fast and sort of kicks and clumps so basically it can even make your eyelids stick together so not a very good primer but um, still using it because it's mine and now I'm just taking that mustard shade you've seen from the ABH Cosmetics palette and I'm using it to, to inside the crease of my eye. I know this makeup looks a bit crazy because I've applied that eyeshadow primer haphazardly but it will be okay in the end and now I'm just taking this brown eyeshadow from the Miss Rose palette and I'm using it to apply it in the outer corners of my eye and also just below the color that I've just applied the yellow one just below the yellow one and the outer corners of my eye next I'm just taking this Maybelline highlighter and I'm going to use it as a highlighting eyeshadow just below my tail bone not tail bone that's fun brow tail yes and next i'm taking this really yellow uh, eyeshadow and i'm using it to like for it to act like a transition shade between the brown one and the, basically the the gold one 
so it's just part of the mustard one so we're just applying it in the areas that the mustard one would have been i just changed my mind yeah then next we are just taking this concealer the same same concealer we used to define our brows and we're going to use it to create the cut crease basically we are creating a line that will separate the yellow eyeshadow from the brown one and from the gold one next i'm just taking this really golden shade from the miss rose palette um, and i'm just using it to fill in the area that i've just demarcated basically we have applied the concealer to separate the yellow and the brown and i'm just filling it in in that area And now I'm just taking an eyeliner pen, not an eyeliner pencil, an eyeliner yes, by Maybelline and I'm just using it to create a cut wing. And I'm also creating cheetah eyes, basically creating that look that felines normally have, like cheetahs and leopards near their eyes. Uh, although mine is a bit too long, but I still like it that way. It makes a difference. And now I'm just using the Maybelline mascara and I'm going to apply it both to the upper and the lower lashes. time for foundation and I'm using the Revlon uh, Candid Anti-Pollution Foundation in the shade 530. Fun fact about this foundation is that it actually blocks blue light. That is the light that is usually emitted by uh, laptops and smartphones. So it's supposed to be blocking. That's, that's where the word anti-pollution comes from. So it won't pollute that blue light will pollute your body. And now uh, I'm just taking this Revlon number 410. This is not a concealer, but I'm using it as a concealer. This is a foundation. I bought two foundation shades and one was way, way too light. So I just decided that I'll be using it as concealer and that's what I'm doing. Also, this foundation usually oxidizes. So after a while, you realize that it's become a bit darker. As you saw when I was starting to apply, it did look really, really lighter than my skin tone. But by the end of this video, you will see that it was actually just my skin tone. And it's also buildable. Now I'm just using this beauty blender to blend in that foundation that I've just applied as concealer to make sure that it's applied nicely. And now I'm just taking this Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to use it as a brightening powder basically because I'm not setting anything, there's no concealer here that to set. And now it's time for the lipstick, I'm just using the Luron and the LA Girl lipstick, it's it LA Colors, LA Colors lipstick. So this Luron lipstick, uh, Luron is a Kenyan company, not L'Oreal. So Luron um, in the shade Dark Chocolate. And as you can see, it's a really dark um, sort of chocolate burgundy. It has burgundy undertones, though it's supposed to be brown. And this other one is in the shade Going Steady. It's by LA Colors. So I normally just apply the Luron one at the bottom and then top it up with this one to create some sort of a nude look. And then I'm also going to take this, uh, is it, uh, yes, glitter, not glitter, my goodness, what is happening, uh, this uh, lip gloss, and I'm just going to apply it in the center of my lips. Now it's time to remove the setting powder, so I'm just taking a brush and I'm removing that uh, Sasha Buttercup powder. Making sure that it's nice and clean. I'm just taking this bronzer shade and I'm going to use it to contour my nose. So I'm just creating um, lines uh, down along the nose, uh, like dark lines, you know, to create shadows that make the illusion of a smaller, tinier, sharper nose. <laughs> yeah, my nose is a bit crooked, so that won't really work well. And now I'm just dabbing highlighter in the areas that you're seeing. It's just look like I have lip fillers. 